All right, day 134. We took a zero yesterday, day 133. Rested at the uh, Sugarloaf Mountain Inn. So today we're going from East Flagstaff Road parking area, which is where we last ended, going up to Harrison Pierce Pond Camp, run by Tim, who's a friend of my cousin. Apparently we're gonna meet my cousin today, so that'll be cool. Um, yeah, it's a, should be, it's a pretty long hike. It's gonna be over 16 miles. We split it up a little bit though. The first two, two point something miles we're slack packing. We're going to meet the van again and switch the full packs just to make the hike a little easier. Beautiful day today. Hope it stays that way. Quite pleasant. The trail looks great. Not sketchy. Very happy about that. So, uh, yeah. Cool. All right. I always appreciate a good metal bridge. Hey. Can't stress enough how happy I am about this trail right now. It brings a smile to my face. It's uh, it's just a normal trail. It's easy. We're not climbing up boulders. Woo! I mean, there's mud. I can live with that. There are roots. That's fine. I'm sure we'll see rocks. It's all good. So one of the goals today would be to test my knees out. I did uh, tweak my knee on a fall last hike. Um, it was hurting on ascends. Prior to that, it had already been hurting on descends. And that was on the side of the knee. It was a patella, I guess it's called. Um, yeah, so right now it feels fine. Maybe a twinge or two, but uh, we'll see how it does. I have the compression sleeve on my shin. I'll pull it up if I need it. I'm trying to see if I need it. So, yeah. Oh, man, you're so odd. Why do you have to do this? You gotta... One, it's slippery. This wood is covered in mold. Yeah, it's really slippery. So... Yeah. You gotta climb up. Uh. Yeah, at least this one has a ramp on the other side. Cool. This is uh, Flagstaff Lake, and this is called Rocky Beach. Oh, yeah. We're not swimming. Flagstaff Lake. All right, we're over uh, two miles uh, in on the trail, getting ready to meet the van to switch from our slack packs to our full packs. You know, which the savings in energy expended is probably pretty minimal. We could have put the full packs on at the start, but you know, it makes it a little easier. The next 14 and a half miles, I think, with the full packs will be a little easier because of it. So, still loving the trail great day and uh pretty happy yay all right we just stopped the van and uh, swapped out our slack packs or our full packs we got about 13.8 miles and 1600 feet of gain to hit Harrison's Pierce Pond camp. It's a bit of a blue blaze off blue blaze off the trail once we get there. I don't think it's too bad. There's a stream crossing right there, but I think if you take the blue blaze you can cross the stream on a bridge. I don't know, something like that. We'll see when we get there. Yeah, it's a bit of a rock scramble to get across this little creek. All right, we're at West Cary Pond. Our next stop will be the West Cary Pond lean-to in about a half mile. All right, so I'm trying to figure out what are we supposed to do here? We've got 
boards going all over the place. I don't know if that goes nowhere. And then <laughs> it's like a traffic jam happened or something. Odd. I don't know how trustworthy these boards are. They are slippery. I'm walking along this trail and uh it's been hugging the uh, lake. You can kind of see right here. Well, that's kind of a different one. Kind of a different boardwalk. It's cool. <laughs> Yeah, we're walking alongside now East Cary Pond. Not much to see, it's just a little glimpse. All right, we popped that onto a small beach on East Cary Pond. And you see it's still raining. Well, at least we got sun now, so that's cool. The water is still dripping from the trees. It's not, it's not actively raining. Just tree rain. But, uh, yeah. A little over uh, 4.8 miles left to go of my, uh, whatever this is, 17 mile day. And, uh, yeah, doing good. Another interesting kind of assemblage. Like, how is that helping? <laughs> I don't know. 